e fez. Hey folks, welcome to another Print and Paint Kickstarter countdown. I have 18 campaigns to share with you this week. Quick content warning, some campaigns contain pinup style models. Link in the description to a video discussing the objectification of women in our hobby. First up, Cyberpunk Red Combat Zone, a boxed game with miniatures in the Cyberpunk Red RPG universe by Monster Fight Club of the United States, their fifth Kickstarter campaign. The core set here comes with two gangs, Maelstrom and the Tiger Claws, as well as some cardstock scenery, a plastic shipping container, and a bunch of cards, dice, and markers to make up the game. There are more minis and scenery in the add-ons and stretch goals, as well as a daily mini reveal for an additional 21 minis. You can get the core sets, the core set plus two or four extra gangs and the daily minis, or include five add-on sets on top of that. There's also a retailer tier. This campaign ends on May 13th, with rewards expected in April of 2022. The King and the Queen Resin Cast Minis and Busts by Paint Riot Studio of France, their fourth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes two new minis and two new busts, one each from each of two themes, Mythic Wars and Guardians of Atlantide. Mythic Warriors include After the First Wave and This is Sparta, and Guardians include two versions of a lady named Thalata. There are also a few add-ons to be had. You can get the King or Queen, or the King and the Queen, either as minis or busts. You can also get them all together, and there are a few tiers that include add-ons in the price. This campaign ends on May 17th, with rewards expected in August. Dangerous Monsters Printable 32mm Monsters from Cassandra from Cassandra Loiseau of Canada, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 20 monsters, big and small, from the lowliest poisonous snails and infectious flies to an eye tyrant and a giant tarasque. There's also a hippogriff, cockatrice, kitsune, and more. One tier for all 20, and another for a commercial license. This campaign ends on May 26th, with rewards expected in June. Dark Maneid, Fire and Steel, 32mm metal, plastic, and digital minis by Raymond Wiggins of the United States, their second Kickstarter campaign. This is three sets, the Black Powder Girls, the Cold Steel Girls, and the Mercenary Company. The Black Powder Girls come with optional muskets or melee weapons, the Cold Steel Girls have cutlasses, and the Mercenary Company has optional firearms for a couple of them. Physically, you can get any of the three sets individually, or all together. You can also get them all digitally, and pick up previous campaigns as well. This campaign ends on May 26th, with rewards expected in November or December. Judgment Eternal Champions, a boxed game with PVC or resin cast minis by Creature Caster of Canada, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a MOBA-inspired box game with 3v3 and 5v5 game modes. It comes with 6 original heroes and several monsters and minions, with more being added from the stretch goals. 5 heroes have already been unlocked. As well as terrain, tokens, dice, cards, and a playing mat, there are also more warbands in the add-ons. In either PVC or more expensive but more highly detailed resin, you can get just the base set, the base set plus the terrain pack and 3D tokens, or that together with all the add-ons. This campaign ends on May 26th, with rewards expected in January of 2022. Cyber Odyssey Cyberpunk Special Agents in a Boxed Game by The Red Joker of France, their seventh Kickstarter campaign. This game comes with 12 special agent miniatures to play, and 15 henchmen minis in three different sculpts. There is also two more sculpts of henchmen in the stretch goals, 
an IRL expansion with at least one more mini, and another single player add-on expansion with no extra minis. You can get the core set with stretch goals, that plus the IRL expansion, and there is also a retail tier. This campaign ends on May 12th, with rewards expected in June of 2022. The Toadstool Brownies, 28mm Metal, Kobold, and Goblin Miniatures by Fenris Games of the United Kingdom, their fourth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a community of 47 minis of various classes. There are villagers, militia, an acting troop, brawlers, warriors, stabbers, and smashers. There is also a bunch of stretch goals and add-ons with some terrain, stickers, and resin bases. You can get one mini with stickers, a set of minis, all 47, or all 47 plus all the stretch goals and add-ons. This campaign ends on May 8th, with rewards expected in August. Wastelands Miniatures Resin Cast Busts and Figures by Hera Models of Spain, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes two 110 scale busts and five 75mm statues, with one of them containing two figures. They're all chaos themed warriors, bristling with horns, spikes, and eight pointed stars all over the place. You can get any of the sculpts individually, all together, five times all together, or all together with five previous busts. This campaign ends on May 15th, with rewards expected by December. The Mines, Flames of War. 3D printable Dwarves and Ogres by The Mines, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is two sets. There is a full evil faction of Ogres, including some big guys and five smaller maggots. And there is also a team of Dwarves with axes, hammers, and crossbows to beat back the Green Tide and other abominations contained in the stretch goals. You can get the full evil faction, the team of Dwarves, or both and there are also commercial licenses available. This campaign ends on May 24th, with rewards expected in May. Tiny RPG Fantasy Cutesy Heroes and Pets for your 3D printers by Flame Udon Studios of France, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 8 heroes and 6 pets, with more in the stretch goals. The artist refers to this stylized race as the Blobs, and designed them to be more suitable for play with their young daughters, and maybe yours might like them too. You can get just the heroes, just the pets, both together, and there is also a commercial license available. This campaign ends on May 29th, with rewards expected in July. Escape from Poughkeepsie, Printable Gangs Stuck in the City, from KLT Studio, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes seven five-person gangs, themed around certain movies from the 80s and 90s. The gangs range from mall rats and fraternity gangs to metal bands, lucky punks, and former police. There are also a few more minis in the stretch goals. You can pick up between one and all seven packs. This campaign ends on May 28th, with rewards expected in July. Dragon Necromancers 3D printable 32 and 75mm models by Printomancer of Poland, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 7 human bone flesh mancers and 5 bone flesh undead creatures. There are a couple more in the stretch goals, as well as some scenery as add-ons. You can get the Dragon Necromancers, or the Undead Creatures, either separately or together, and there is also a commercial license. This campaign ends on May 24th, with rewards expected in June. Wrath of Olympus, printable and printed Greek gods and warriors, from Your Neighbor Knight of Greece, their second Kickstarter, though you can also check out their Patreon campaign. This set includes 30 minis, 
There are 15 gods of Olympus, including Zeus, Hermes, Hades, Athena, Ares, and all your other favorites. There are also five Athenian warriors, five Spartan warriors, and five undead, as well as some mythical beasts in the stretch goals. Digitally, you can get the whole set or a commercial license, and physically, you can get any of the five sets or the 15 Olympians separately or all together. This campaign ends on May 30th, with rewards expected between June and July. Neo-Gothic Heavy Infantry White Metal 28mm Sci-Fi Minis by Halcyon Miniatures of the United Kingdom, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set is divided into four groups. There are Stormtroopers with Rifles, Assault Infantry with Swords and Optional Shields, a Psyker with a Stormtroop Commander, and a Commissar with a Priest. You can get any 1, 2, 4, 6, or 12 of those sets. This campaign ends on May 31st, with rewards expected in June. The Last Company 35 and 75mm printed and printable figures by Ivan Garcia Gonzalez of Spain, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of five characters. There's a wizard, a minotaur, Lady Avalyn, a warrior nun, and a dwarf. There are also busts of a few of them as stretch goals. Digitally, you can get one mini, all five, and a commercial license. Physically, there is just one tier that only offers a single mini. This campaign ends on May 30th, with rewards expected in June or October. Headhunters Printable Monster Heads from Darm Art Studio of Spain, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 16 heads to decorate your bases and terrain with, divided into four different groups. The Yokai Kingdom, The North, The Mighty Forgotten, and Timeless Void. You can get one head, one group of four, or all 16. There is also a merchant license available. This campaign ends on May 31st, with rewards expected in July. Medieval Dead 3 Champions of Darkness, Resin and White Metal Minis by Dark Art Studios of the United Kingdom, their ninth Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 10 hand-sculpted dark fantasy miniatures, mages, knights, vampires, and more. There are a whole bunch of add-ons from previous Medieval Dead campaigns, and several stretch goals as well. In metal, you can get 1, 5, or all 10, and in resin, you can get all 10 miniatures. This campaign ends on May 16th, with rewards expected in December. Effin Cool Miniatures Uncrated Printable and metal or plastic cast minis by Effin Cool Miniatures of the United States, their 10th Kickstarter campaign. These minis were originally produced for RPG Crate, and a few of them were released elsewhere. The creators felt rushed though, and have taken the time to produce higher quality minis than previously. The minis are a good mix of heroes and monsters, some of them divided into groups. Skeletons of Sin, Port City of Thravia, and Underdark Dwellers. You can pick up any of the groups mentioned, or all together, in plastic or metal. You can also get the whole set digitally. This campaign ends on May 31st, with rewards expected in July or November. That's all for this week. Check back next week for more, and thanks for watching.